In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly set up this glitter shader in Maya and Arnold. Let's jump into Maya. You'll need your hypershade open for this tutorial and I'm just going to use the Arnold renderer in the viewport so we can see what's happening. So with your object selected, right click and assign a new material, an Arnold AI standard surface. Let's just set up some of the basic shader first before we add the glitter to it. So you want to choose your color. I'm going to go for something like this deep red color. And I'm going to turn the metalness up to one. The specular, I'm going to drop that down to 0.1. And I'm also going to change the color of the specular to match. The next thing that we are going to do is create an AI flakes node. If you click in the hypershade, you can hit tab and then we can start typing what we want and it's AI flakes. And we want to plug this into the normal camera of the surface, which is right at the bottom. If you can't see this, um, then if you hit four on your keyboard, you'll be able to view all of the attributes. So we're gonna drag the out color into the normal camera slot and let go. And we can see what's happened there. So now we're going to tweak the AI flakes. So we are going to put the density all the way to one so that we have the glitter cover all of the surface. And then I'm going to add some depth to this so we get some more variation in the flakes. And the most important um, attribute on this is the scale. So at the minute 0.1 is looking quite large. So I'm going to drop this down and for my object and the scale of my scene, 0.005 is a really good value so I'm going to drop this down to 0.005 we get that really small looking glitter and um, you can play around with this value and tweak the setting to what you want it to be but that's the main setup what I'm also going to do is scroll down on the surface shader to the coat section and I'm going to add this over the top now a coat will add like a lacquer so you can see here I'm now getting like something like maybe a nail varnish with glitter in it um, but I don't want it to be a full lacquer I just want the weight on this to be something about 0.2 but then what I also want to do now is reuse the flakes and plug that into the coat normal so that we get some variation on the coat as well with the AI standard surface selected and I can see the coat normal, I'm going to middle mouse click on the flakes and that's going to allow me to drag this onto the coat normal. And then I just need to select the out color of the AI flake and scroll down and click coat normal. And that's now, I've still got a coat on that but the coat isn't a completely smooth surface. It's being broken up by the flakes like the glitter is underneath. And then I can also, if I want to, have the coat color match the, um, match the base color and then maybe I would brighten it slightly. And that is the glitter shader set up. I want to look how this looks inside of the um, Arnold renderer. Because we're creating glitter, which has a really fine detail, we are definitely going to need to um, increase the AA samples and probably the diffuse and specular as well of our Arnold settings. So to do that, we can go into the render settings here and then on the Arnold renderer tab, we're probably going to want to bump the AA up to a minimum five depending on how your render is looking and how much time you have to render you might want to go up to six maybe even seven and then I'm just going to pop the diffuse and specular up as well so if the samples increase we're getting um, a bit less noise and you just want to keep tweaking them until you've got something that you're happy with that works with your lighting and the resolution that you are finally rendering at. If this was helpful and you want to see some more shaded tutorials, let me know in the comments. And um, if you want to subscribe, I would really appreciate it so that I can continue to grow the channel. Thanks.